welcome to this extra special episode of Fry Slay. Cause today, not only are we breaking down fashion and makeup, we also have a super special guest, a baby. Woo! Yes. Wow. Welcome, Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> <laughs> thank you right. so much for being here. I guess give us. Just where you come, where did you come from? How did you get here? I was here? born in the Bronx. <laughs> okay. That's where I started. New York. Started in New York, um, but I, I I moved to Jersey early and um, I was raised there. But we moved around a lot. You know what I yeah. mean? So I always had a hard time when people are like, "Where were you from?" It was hard for me to say like I was from this town or mm -hmm. that town because I was always all over the place. You know? Yeah. So I kind of just rep the tri-state. Yeah. Uh, that's very nice. nice. The whole know? majority. Yeah. All over the era. place. Yeah. It's good to be. Back here, I guess. Yeah, back it's in. good. Always good to be back. Always so good. tell us, how did your career start? Did you always want to do music? You grew up into this, or you know what? Um, when I was a kid, kid, I wanted to be a basketball star. <laughs> oh, really? I wanted to be in the WNBA. <laughs> oh, that was, I, I love was, it. I Were you athletic? Short. Do you I could play? play ball, but I was like short. You but know? you could like okay. be like Rondo. Yeah, 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 I was trying. <laughs> but you know what? Um, music caught me young, and I started writing like poems and stuff like that. Yeah. That eventually, oh, nice. I realized, hey, look, I could put this to a beat and have a song out mm -hmm. of it, you know? Mm -hmm. And that was early, early on. And um, ninth grade year, what really switched uh, sports to music for me was I had met this production company, Allied Forces Production Company. Okay. And I, it was ninth grade, and I had rapped for them in the back of a car with some friends. And, <laughs> and they, That's yeah, how the best that's stories how happen. <laughs> and they called me back, and they were like, we want you to come in and work on some songs, and then... From there, it's just oh, been go, it go, was, go. Yeah, it's been that. It's been my love ever since, you know? Aww. Wow. Yeah. Something that just, it was just a moment. You were just having yeah. fun with yeah. your friends. Yeah. And now all of a sudden, this is your career. This is what Destiny. you're moving towards. Yeah. So how many years have you been in the industry? Like, you know, you say? I've, I've been doing, I've been doing music for, for like over 10 years, I want to say now. But I wouldn't say that I've been giving it my all mm -hmm. until probably like the past four years okay. oh, you know because yeah. life on life's terms gets in the way and and things happen but mm -hmm. I would say for the past four years I've really buckled down and um, started focusing on what maybe 2011 yeah mm -hmm. you know where I really did my first music video and um, got serious about being a songwriter and being an entertainer you know what I mean yeah so, so, so you write your own song everything Mm. Oh, the, even the great. production. Yeah, I do. Wow. I do co-production on um, this whole album. I, I co-produced. Um, right, I like these coming on. You know, <laughs> it's like you know, music is like for me in particular. It's like my baby. You know, so yeah. when I no. create something, it's like my, I want to make sure that I'm I'm there for every step of the way. Every, every step phase. of the way. I want to mm -hmm. I want to change a diaper. I want to. <laughs> I want to do everything until yeah. it's grown. <laughs> And ready to go to college on its own. So yeah. I mean, there are a lot of artists that aren't like that. Yeah. I've mm -hmm. definitely heard those. The, there are people they come in, they rap, they do their thing, yeah. or they just write, mm -hmm. and they don't want anything to do with any or they of the post production. Have or have ghostwriters who uh -huh. write for yeah, them. Yeah, and all they're doing is laying it down. Yeah. yeah. Now I need to be a part of every single detail, from the singing, writing, to the harmonies, mm -hmm. to the ad libs, to the production, to the main lyrics, so every part. I definitely have to ask, where do you get that inspiration to just kind of sit down and write? Like, where do, do you do? You, do you have like a process or it's just kind of like you have like a pen and a paper and it, you write it, it, all the it time? It writes itself. I know okay. it sounds cliche, but it, yeah. it writes itself. I mean, in the beginning, I think I probably had to work maybe a little bit harder than I do right now, but I've, I've come to this point in my life where I literally hear a beat or I hear a melody or I hear something and it starts to bring, It just you know, catches it, your yeah, attention. Yeah, it forms itself from wow. tip to root, yeah, so. Wow, so, I must ask though, yeah. where did you get the name? Baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You know what? Um, they actually they back in the day where I was hanging out. They um they called uh, they called the the youngins the BGs the baby gangsters. Uh -huh. <laughs> Right. Oh, okay. So, so they started to call me Bebe Gambino, which was BG, which was because okay. I looked Italian. You know, I'm not. I'm Puerto Rican and Sephardic. You know oh. what I mean? What is Sephardic? But Sephardic is Spanish Jew from Spain. Oh, oh I wow. learned something new today. Oh, yeah. I didn't even know I that. I didn't know that was the combination. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I didn't realize. So, That's yeah. Amazing. So my father is Puerto Rican, my mother is Sephardic, so I'm not. But they ended up calling me Bebe Gambino, and then later <laughs> on like down the line, I kept Bebe and just ran with it. You know, mm -hmm. and I put the threes when I was. Young, I was just trying to be different, and now at this point, I catch a lot of slack for it. A lot of people are like, you G3, know, B3, oh, that's corny. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. what, though? It's original, and, and if it, you type that into Google right now, you're the only one. You're the only one. Mm -hmm. that's you will true. find it. That's true. That that's is very well true. That's you unique see? in yeah. your music as well. Thank you. I think that reflects that, right? Like yeah. the name, like your style, everything. Yeah. It just mm -hmm. shows that unique character that, like, what you're gonna. 
what you see on paper, what you see in the music, that's what you're going to see in real life. Yeah. Like, it's just, it all comes together. Yeah. yeah. That's Actually, really cool. I have to say, like, I really, really like your music video ideas, especially for the, the recent one, Threat. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That was really cool. Yeah, you, that's she, a... She slayed someone, okay? That's well, my violinist, too. Oh, oh, really? The one really? that was trying to kill me. <laughs> Shout out Marissa Licata, trying uh. to kill me. But yeah, that's my violinist. She's featured on, um, she does live violin on some of the songs mm, of my upcoming amazing. project as well, yeah. Where did you get the concept of that? Um, I think it was like a mix between like a Kill Bill meets Love It's Kill very Bill. like yeah. female, yeah. female yeah. dominated. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I feel like that's a lot what I stand for, you know. Um, it's it's really it's a really rough industry in general, but let alone being for a woman. Yeah. So um, and a yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like you gotta kinda be a little bit tougher than the average, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? A little bit stronger than the average, just to push through and not yeah. let them kill you. Cause this industry can break you. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have that strength and that confidence and that that woman dominant, you know, yeah. Yeah. then they'll break you. So you know That's where the concept It's came. molded me to be this. You That's know? so great. I mean, I've I've heard that like I mean, I guess in any industry, but definitely in the music industry, oh, yeah. when you're trying to be a boss, you know, people are mm -hmm. like, oh, she's a bitch. Mm -hmm. You know, it always comes out that way, where all of a sudden, you can't be the owner of your own music. You can't mm -hmm. say right. what you want to say and how you want things to look, because all right. of a sudden, oh, she's taking, right. advantage, you know, right. she's taking too much control. Right. How is that even, you know, but if, and, it was, but if it's a guy. Dude, if yeah. it was a dude, he would be, oh, that guy's Praise doing business. Yeah. 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 Oh, he has a vision. Oh, that's right. beautiful. Right. Oh, my God. Yeah, and, and then it when it comes to a woman, time. it's... So I can tell, I mean, I can understand why there's this, you have to like, feel like you have to push yeah. harder. You have yeah. to work stronger. You have to you know? like create this persona that's a lot more like vicious than maybe, Absolutely. you know, Absolutely. If you make it look like be. they can take advantage, they will. Wow. They'll take advantage. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta make sure you're strong in this. And in any, any time where you're trying to break through barriers, I mean, you know, if you look in the hip hop, it's, it's always one female to 10 males. It's always two females to 20 males. It's always, we're always the odd man out. You know yeah, what I mean? Absolutely. So in any business that you want to be a lawyer or a doctor or anything where the female is a little bit less than of a male, you kind of yeah. have to really be a oh, strong yeah. female to break through, you know? So. And that's what women are. They're strong. Oh, yeah. They're independent oh, and yeah. they got their shit together. Hell yeah. So you've opened for a lot of major artists like Common. What was that like for you? How did you? That was good. Talib Kweli as well. Um, both really, really great experiences, really great shows. Um, I can remember one particular moment opening up for Talib where he had came on stage and was like, well, who did you guys think was the best performer of the night? Because there was a couple more. Yeah. And the crowd started to chant, baby, baby. Oh. How, how, how was that feeling? Those <laughs> moments are the moments that you're like, ah, oh, you the get the you. butterfly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but yeah, so I've definitely oh had some, some really great experiences. Um, uh, just blessed to be able to hit stages with people like that. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Do you That's feel like they've taught you a lot? Just even watching them on stage. You, you know, know what? I've that? been I've been studying artists on stage my whole life. So mm -hmm. not only them, but Michael Jackson and Madonna. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, like yeah. Beyonce oh, and yeah. all the greats Woo! that you really like. You look and you're like, like yeah, I, I seriously. can't wait to have a set and a stage to mm -hmm. be able to do things yeah. like that. So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely one to study the greats. And you know, I think and that's take how you it. learn a lot more. And it's more, so right? hard to actually do that, you know, in real life. A lot of us, like, we just think, oh, you know, I could do that. You right. Know? Oh, right. That's easy. When you yeah. get up there, you find out who a real artist is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. wow. It's way different. But the stage is my home. That's where I'm most comfortable. I feel like the studio and the stage, everything else is, you know, I enjoy it and I make mm -hmm. the best of it. Yeah. But I feel like when I'm on that stage, it's, I don't even have control. Like, I'll, I'll go to rehearsal and I'll plan to do all these things. And when I hit that stage, the way that the passion takes over. I'm yeah. like, I forget everything. They looking at me like, that was the cue. That's I'm like, no, I'm on right now. Yeah, you know? you're like a whole different person. No, I, turn, yeah. I turn into a beast. That, that takes over, like that yeah. passion. That's so beautiful. I have to tell you. I saw you. one of your performances recently at the at the museum. I saw it on Instagram. Yeah. So I just, I really liked how, you know, you said that no matter what venue it is, you have to give it 100%. Everything, mm -hmm. everything. Because I don't care if Barclays it's- Barclays Center. Yeah. Yeah, 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 no, I've done Highline Ballroom. We did SOBs, you know, a couple weeks ago. And and then I've done some where it's like a room like this and maybe mm -hmm. this whole side has people, yeah. but I'm yeah. still going to give you the same energy yeah. that I gave SOBs or Highline or yeah. any of because mm -hmm. you never know. You not only do not know who's in that room that can be beneficial to you in your life, mm -hmm. but you never know who you can who impact, inspire, yeah. in that audience. impact. who needs to hear what it is that you're saying. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you always want to go out there and give it your all. Do you yeah. have like a song That's that awesome. you're really passionate about on your new, your new LP? It's coming yeah, out. Um, <laughs> you know what? I have a few. I have a song called Breathe that's not going to end up being one of the singles off the album. 
but it's very deep song mm -hmm. and I feel like it's a song that I turn to when I'm overwhelmed okay wow. you know what yeah, I mean yeah, yeah. and sometimes you can't do that with your own music because by the time it's done it, so, it sounds totally different not than only that but it's like you know it's like you hear a song on the radio over and over it gets played out by the mm -hmm. time I, my song is released it's played out to me I didn't heard it 20 yeah, million times yeah. you know what I mean and like, you wrote it and yeah and I wrote it so now I have to go perform it and mm -hmm. all this right. other stuff so by the time but for this particular song um it's it basically the hook is just saying, breathe with me, baby, let it in and let it out. If you got to scream, then shout, because I know what it's all about. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it's like, it's almost like... Powerful. Yeah. Those words. Yeah, that's so really. so that's definitely one of... Um, I look forward to releasing that. Just for Do the you have a date set up yeah. that we can look forward to? <laughs> we can couple tell months? our audience? Couple, couple, couple months. months. Okay. Right, I want to drop okay. a few singles. I got... um. Cookie Monster on the way. Ooh. I love that name. <laughs> Thriller, I got Thriller is on the way. I got a song called Good Morning on the way. Okay. Um, and these are all singles off singles. your uh, off the album. Yes. No, okay. Good Morning is not. Thriller, okay. and, Thriller, and, Thriller and Cookie Monster are off the album. Sub Zero mm -hmm. is off the album. Those are going to be the next three singles off the album. Good Morning is not. I have a song called Heads High. That's not. And okay. I have a song called. Um, I think I'm gonna call it for the birds. Mm. So, do you come up with the titles? I've always wanted to. Yeah, know, like, I do. How do you do but that? I've been I've been trying to be different. Like I was yeah. naming the song "Love Me, Love Me, Love Me," and I'm like, I feel like there's so many songs called about love. love. It's all about love. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I was like, I'm gonna name it for the birds. Cause it's gonna throw everybody. It's off. gonna catch my attention. Yeah, like they're gonna be like, like "Are you this? talking about me? Yeah. Are you talking <laughs> about guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are the birds? <laughs> Who are the birds? <laughs> Who are the birds? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, wow. you know, I always had a dream that I could be like a rock star, like a rapper or something on stage. <laughs> I just feel like I give you guys so much um, appreciation because it takes a lot, like getting up there and mm -hmm. being. It's not only like stage fright, but it's also like the amount of stamina that it takes, the memorization. Right. Yeah. Like oh, I'd be yeah. like, I'd forget my own songs. Like I don't even know. <laughs> it happens. But do you have anything that you like? To help you prepare before you, I know it's passion takes over, but is there anything that you no, do? No. Only eat. Like, do you have like a ritual or something like that <laughs> before going on a stage? I don't think I'm allowed to say on TV what I do. No, I'm playing. <laughs> no, I'm playing. But um, but no, I usually I don't even drink or much or anything like that. Wow. Sometimes I have like a drink and I'll just hang out with you know the fans or whoever's there for yeah. the show and then you just kind of get in the zone. Yeah. yeah. And then you know what's funny? I said this to somebody the other day. I'll give you guys this inside scoop. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, and this is not even flattering, so I don't know why I'm telling you. I'm telling you <laughs> Sometimes I get burpy right before I go on stage. Like oh you, my God. you burp, <laughs> you burp a, lot. a lot. But like internally, like I feel it. Like oh I my gosh, it, I, I just burped burp. before I got on set. You see what <laughs> I mean? You can, you get like power. I know. See? We're, like, we're like I'm having a connection you, right now. I'm telling you, every once in a while, I, I get I get burpy right. Is before. it like do you eat <laughs> something beforehand no, or you're I, just? I usually don't I even think eat. It's nervousness really. Yeah, acid I think it's like. Acid acid oh, okay. And I'm like, oh, stop it. This is not burp time. You burp till you get home. It's showtime. This is showtime. It's time to burp. Have you ever burped on stage? No. And if I, you know what? I'm lying. One time. Aww. But I turned my back and I took the mic away, so they didn't oh. even know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Imagine she like incorporates it I right, right, into right, into the, yeah, yeah. right into the verse. That would be cool. Funny. The next album will definitely have oh, that. Gosh. So, you, you, you. no, I, you, I've been talking way too much. You asked. Do you have a dream collaboration with an artist? <laughs> Someone who you, you really want to perform with? My favorite, most of my favorite artists have passed away already. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what's so sad. Like yeah, you, you see all I these like it. celebrities like I missed my through. opportunity to do a lot of the collabs no. that I wanted be because more. Michael Jackson would have been like my all-time great time. for Thriller. Oh yeah. my god, <laughs> I would have loved. I would have yeah. loved to do wow. Michael. Like, R.I.P. Yeah, rest legend. in peace. For and sure. you know, like the greats. A lot of the greats have have passed, but um, uh, Paul McCartney. Mm -hmm. oh, oh wow, I would love to do a song with Paul McCartney. I mean, if Kanye can do it, Ooh, hey, yes. that's true. That's I'm true. A super and Rihanna, fan, I'm just saying. you know, <laughs> I mean Beyonce, but I feel like that's like right, like every artist. Like every artist, mm -hmm. everyone wants if to be a Beyonce. Beyonce. I don't have to be yeah. an artist. It's yeah. not a bad thing. She, yeah. you know, she's amazing. So I could that's understand. Why. But I just look forward to really being able to, you know, meet and collab with all these different people that I think are talented and of, yeah. you know, they don't have to be like super high yeah, celebrities. Yeah. It's just right. like. Even the talent people that are just talented. sharing the same yeah. level. Yeah. Right. And there's people out there that you guys have never even heard of that I think are some of the best artists. Now. Right. You is there anyone I mean? we should be looking for? You know, like um, any any shout outs? Shayna May. Shayna May is Shayna May. Who okay. Will be, he will be you know? joining us. In yeah. She's, <laughs> wake up, wake up. she's a brilliant singer. You know what I mean? Brilliant singer. So there's a lot of up and coming artists that are doing things right now. 
Um, I'll even shout out Felly Fame. I shouted him out before. You did um, a music video with him? Um, no, no I did a, you did a, a collab, right? Yeah, he's going okay. to be on one of my songs, featured on one of my songs coming out probably more towards the end of the year. Mm -hmm. okay. But um, 2017 is big for you, huh? Yeah, it's a, it's a lot going on right now. Wow. That's so exciting. Do you ever go back to, I don't know, do you ever think about like what you, your life used to be like before all this? And do you, um, you, you know what, I say I stay super humble and grounded because I, I make That's sure great. to keep myself around my family and yeah. my niece mm -hmm. and my nephew and That's my amazing. you know my make sure to go see my grandpa when he's you <laughs> of know, course and, you know like I, I like to make sure I stay grounded I don't want to feel like uh, I know it's how taking much, over yeah and I know how much crazier it's gonna get so if I start mm -hmm. feeling like crazy right now right. you know what I mean it's like, just gonna get to your head time yet. yeah yeah <laughs> so I'm gonna wait and be patient and, and just really I just try Count to stay blessings. grounded and get humble and yeah. I'm just grateful for everything right now you know every every situation and every life experience that that God's giving me I'm just soaking it in and grateful That's for wonderful. it. wonderful. Now, I don't, did I get a title for your LP or am I blanking? You know what, the the album is going to be self-titled, so it's going to be the Bebe LP. Oh, Bebe LP. Gonna be Bebe, Bebe LP. So that's LP. even easier for the audience to remember. <laughs> so I, I am totally in shock and awe. I love you. Yeah, you know, we're all so impressed. I will so always nice. wear sunglasses inside now. <laughs> this is what Bebe does. <laughs> Y'all know. So thank you. I mean, I gotta say thank you so much. You're skilled. You're talented. You're humble. You got earrings to die for. Thank Can you I so borrow much. those? Thank you so much. I, I, I hope a little bit of talent rubs off on all of us. Oh. My trivia game. It's called Who's That Chris? 